to hear all these noises with the feet to walk in. Oh, yeah. Tell us the story, Kayla, before we start. Oh, f- screw you. Ooh, look at that. I was, oh, I almost did it too. Right here in front of Sean. <laughs> <laughs> this is going to get fucking weird. Uh, oh. Can I at least sip my drink? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't want you to be thirsty. <laughs> Just, uh, I got, I'm glad we got this three minutes to no. burn, I guess. What story do you want to hear? I'm just tell the people something. Tell them what they want to hear. I don't have any good stories. None. Nope. Huh. Nada. Uh. <laughs> you don't have a single story. Mm-mm. Not right now. Do you have a road rage story? Yeah, today. Oh, yeah, today. Hey. Driving to Lake Geneva. Look at that. Yeah. It wasn't really like road rage. Actually, Jeff was the one that kept honking the horn. I love reaching you over reach, to honk You're horn. an asshole for doing that. <laughs> I, well, it, I mean, I don't care. It doesn't bother me any. People look at me funny, and then I just give them the bird. I, I just I don't give a shit. <laughs> just a lot of people turning from the middle lane when there's a turn lane. Very odd. Yeah. Dude, that happened to me today. That happened five times today. Yeah. I was at uh, by Rumpole's. The stop there, mm-hmm. yeah, where you could go, you know, right or you go left. Mm-hmm. Car in front of me, set up in the left lane, fucking turned right. Of course, he did. Just, yeah. <laughs> yeah, no signals, no, no signal. One, everyone's turn signal is broke today. Yeah, and then Low going down fluids. 50, like somebody's in the left lane going slow and they're lined up with the person in the right lane, and I'm stuck behind them. I was like, either slow down and get behind this car or speed up. Yeah. But get the fuck out of my way. Yeah, do something. Exactly. Three, two, one. <clears throat> Mom. Check the mic and make sure it sounds right, boys. Oh yeah. Welcome back to another fun-filled episode of The Gentleman's Den. Kayla, Jeff, and Sean. Back in the den for your listening pleasure i guess i mean i think we're pretty pleasurable <laughs> i like to be pleasured <laughs> so uh, i hope we're doing something to those ears of yours like i like that- to be inside you inside your cars inside oh my your god <laughs> headphones inside your brains just dancing around in there we're inside of people right now you know that right People listen to I us. I don't go that deep into that thought. That's where I, every time we do this, I'm just, I just know that we're inside of someone. Mm. Right. Now. How <laughs> wonderful. Jesus. How wonderful. How's you guys this week? Good. Fine. It was a uh, kind of a blur, to be honest. Yeah. Like Monday bled into Thursday at work. Oh. It was just all downhill, <laughs> same thing. Working on the same project all week. And just it was, mundane work shit. Yeah, and it was just like I said, I got I got home on Thursday. I was like, it's Thursday. I didn't even realize what day it was. <laughs> well, that's a good week though. You yeah. basically time trail. <laughs> yeah. It's it's weird. I, I got I got into such a groove. Just same routine, same shit. Yeah. And yeah, it just I blinked and it would be three o'clock. I'm like, yeah, I missed lunch again. Sweet. Well, uh, nice. It's nice too. Your job. You. I mean, you. They let you wear headphones and shit. So you're yeah. just fucking blasting music all day. Some people don't get that. that. Nice. That's got to make the time go by. I bought new headphones. Fast as shit. Because every pair of like around the neck with a longer battery headphones snap because I got a big ass neck. Oh. <laughs> Snack rolls. No, it's they're they're built for normal people. <laughs> and my neck's not a normal person neck. So <laughs> I I dude, I broke that pair of beats on my head, so I, I know how big my oh, yeah. is. So I got these ones that don't go in your ears, they like sit on the outside of your ear. It's almost like two little speakers that play into your ear. Mm-hmm. But I can hear everything around me and still have that on. And they're kind of a game changer to be honest with you. Pretty legit. Because I don't have to have one out. I got them both on. Are headphones a lot at your work, or you just yeah. don't give a fuck? No, they're a lot. <laughs> we work with a lot of the machineries, you know, 
loud noise yeah. machinery. So anything. Because sometimes have, OSHA, that's like a problem. Yeah. One in. Oh, okay, so only one. one. In. That's I one. have none in because they don't go inside my ears. It stays on the outside of my ear. Now it's just speakers hanging off his ears. There's, it so lo- you don't go. You don't go fully inside. It, it looks no. No, no, just, just the tip. Just the tip around the edge. <laughs> no, it, it it looks like cochlear implants. I put it on. I started laughing. Yeah, because so I was just like, yeah, look, like ten years into the future already, looking at <laughs> ears being dead. There we go. Oh. No, but other than that, good week. And here we are, That's back good. in the den, milady. Mm-hmm. Why don't you are. tell these beautiful people? Oh what? It's something. I don't. <laughs> tell them about WrestleMania that we just watched. You guys watched the main event of WrestleMania with me, and that was very nice. Of you. I didn't know there was two days. Yeah, the shit's getting out of hand. Yeah, well, like I told you, two days at seventy-two thousand people per day. Plus, they were there all week with a bunch of stuff to do. They <clears throat> cleared a couple of million easy. The so, gate, the gate alone was probably fifteen, twenty million. That's crazy. Is tonight just like the blowjob, and tomorrow's the fuck? Yes, t- tonight, t- <laughs> tonight is the the dry hand job, and tomorrow, <laughs> tomorrow's the the full everything. Your your home run. Yeah. <laughs> You don't hit. You don't hit a triple. You hit a home run tomorrow night. Later, I called you from the bar. Told you to get ready. She's coming home, liquored up. And you're scared. <laughs> yeah. oh, fuck. She said, "Don't chop any wood. I'm coming home with a full load." <laughs> oh my god. Speaking of liquored up, they had the uh, press conference. <laughs> Oh yeah. oh, yeah. Those ladies were tuned up. <laughs> so we came up with a great idea. We're going to have bar closed press conferences. Okay, seriously, come summertime, I feel like if we talk to the bar up the street, I'm not gonna they'd lie probably to you. let us. I'm not going to lie to you. A Blue Goose bar, bar, bar closed, closed bar press closed. conference. Us with the headphones on and everything. Yeah. Like a sports. <laughs> yes. Like a sports. How do you like think a, you performed today? Yeah, how do you think you performed today? Clearly, you're going home alone. <laughs> <laughs> so it wasn't a it wasn't a home run tonight, but I mean, we can't all have our best performances. You, you Just missed. some guy pissing himself <laughs> at the bar. Yeah, it wasn't my best effort. <laughs> I'll be back next tomorrow. Actually, <laughs> bar close press conferences would be oh. phenomenal. <laughs> I'm in. If you guys are down. Oh yeah. Oh, I'm down. This summer. I feel like a really good one too would be like Main Street, sitting yeah. right outside of just Main wait Street. Outside. Ooh, Village would be good just because of the crazy. Well, they do do those ones where they yeah. they interview people outside of bars and shit, yeah. and they're hammered, wasted, and it's always like some sexual question. And yeah, but I want them to like sit down and like you know put a Gatorade in front of them, <laughs> <laughs> like fully legit. Press conference. Have a Gatorade in front of him and, you know, some sponsor, like a bag of chips or something. Yeah. Oh, and he's know. eating them. Oh, yeah. <laughs> he can't resist. No. <laughs> There's Taco Bell. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh, that just would be a, funny. Just a, t- a table full of double cheeseburgers. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and Gatorades. And what, a cheeseburger counter, like, going? <laughs> <laughs> during the 10 minute interview you guys want to do an interview you give me a cheeseburger and a Gatorade. oh they're doing it for sure sit down grab how many do you have tonight <laughs> so how do you rate your performance on tonight's i think that'd be so funny that'd be fun well i like those uh kind of disappointed we didn't do it at our wedding but i like those wedding videos where, hey i'm tom and this is my first drink how tom is my seventh drink yeah <laughs> How tired of these hey, basically just pissing us Honestly, kind of glad we didn't do that at your wedding. <laughs> oh, yeah. Really? End of the night. Yeah, it was a little. It was fun. It was. It was, it was a good time. time. It was a great wedding. It was a good time. Well, thank you, Sean. Good times. Glad you were there to share in the moment with us. A lot. Somebody I'm sorry. asked me the other day. I think it was yesterday. One of my coworkers. Yeah, that'd be the other day. Did your... <laughs> <laughs> They're like, your friend on the podcast is. He, did he marry you guys? <laughs> and it's always sure a weird did. thing when people ask that because it's like, 
yeah, like you were you yes, officiated at the wedding or whatever, but yes. like when people are like Technically, the state married you guys. I just signed a piece of paper saying that we did a ceremony. Well, yeah. it just makes me feel like we're like a thruple when they're like, "Did he it, marry you well, guys?" Well, I mean, well. it's it's weird. <laughs> it's you know, it's getting there. <laughs> Sean starts getting handsy. We might have a problem though. Yeah, he, <laughs> her dick's bigger than yours, bud. So <laughs> what, you. I'm just saying, it is a beautiful oh. penis, son. Probably the best I've seen. That's why I had to lock it down. Yeah. Thanks. Uh, get it for my mom oh <laughs> definitely the nuts <laughs> oh. uh, so what else is going on in the feet from your dad yes yep oh no yep. Uh, sausage toes speaking of toes go ahead no i was just gonna say it's weird how what I, obviously your parents like what you get from each parent yeah because bell is like the perfect combination of you and i i feel Mm -hmm. But yeah, it's like she has like, you know, your nose and your father's. <laughs> but then she has like my feet, my cheeks. It's just, it's a weird. It is crazy. It is a pretty balanced mix, but you can, you can like section off Bella's face. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Oh, there's Kayla. There's Jeff. There's yeah. Kayla. There's Jeff. Like, yeah, for sure. It's weird. Yeah. Like that forehead. That's yeah, that's <laughs> there's the Kayla. Channel. That's well, we've seen channel. some, uh, uh, my daughter had a. Uh, Recital. We'll get back to the toes. I just want. We had the recital tonight, and there was um, friends that we know. Their kids were in it. Mm -hmm. like, I didn't know that their kids were in it, but I saw their. And I was like, "That's their kid. Their kid." I'm like, "I know that kid for sure. Yeah. I know her parents." So that yeah, it's crazy. just funny how that works out like that. Well, our one friend that all three of her daughters look exactly like her. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. Like mm -hmm. it's crazy. Like, not not like the dad. I haven't really seen much. Like I can't find it. Yeah, but I could definitely see the mom it's in, in there somewhere. all three of them. Somewhere hiding. How about your toes? Are okay. they your toes or someone else's toes? No, it was a conversation. You're not sucking toes again, are you? <laughs> Stop On the streets, people about a that. fifty's a fifty, Jeff. Damn it! Yeah, I don't want to hear it. You're over there giving blowjobs for a thousand dollars and. Times are tough, Kayla. Daddy's yeah. got to eat. You know what I'm saying? No, so yes. Tito's don't pay for themselves. <laughs> so yesterday after work, me and a couple of co co-workers went out to have some drinks, and we were talking about a bunch of stuff, and we talked about uh, Catholic weddings. Oh, yeah, the stand-up, sit-down, stand-up, sit-down. Yes, and apparently how, like, they wash each other's feet, the bride and the groom. Yeah, that that's another part in... In uh, the good book, I guess, that Jesus was washing the leper. The Jesus washed the leper's feet. Yeah, but I'm like, how? I've seen some billboards about that. Weird and is and that? And some weird commercials. Well, so then I... That's where it comes from then. Because I've seen commercials where people are washing well, people's feet. So, time and out. I said, who directed this commercial? Quentin Tarantino. <laughs> so, Jesus had a foot fetish? Yeah. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. Wow, we're digging way too deep into this guy. I don't know. I, I but I like laughed because I was like, "Can you like? Why would you do that? I can't imagine doing that." But I feel like if we would have had a Catholic wedding, I would have gotten done think, washing your feet, and I, then I think I would have just licked the entire bottom of your foot, <laughs> what? just to throw everyone <laughs> off. <laughs> I th I can't I, touch your feet without you dying laughing. And I, feel I like don't I'm, think you guys would make it through it. I think you would have been laughing so There's hard. There's no way. Kayla, let's, it's, it's, no, no, no way. There as, isn't. as soon as the shoes came off, it's over. Oh, yeah. It's no, over. I, it's just the laughing would be so hard and the tears would be coming. Yeah. yeah. Once you dip those cocktail wieners in that fucking <laughs> water. It's over, Rock. It's over. My Lord. Yeah, I don't know. It was just weird. We were talking about it and I was like, that's such a weird thing. Like, There's why? a lot of weird thing. Weird traditions and, I mean... Well, the baptism videos are the ones that freak me out the most. Where they're like the kid ones, or yeah, the where they're taking ones? no, the, they're taking the babies and like oh, dunking, yeah. them, dunking them, them under flip, the water, flipping them, and f like they're the fucking Harlem Globetrotters. <laughs> <laughs> they're resilient. Spitting the baby on their finger. Those baby videos. You see the ones where they just throw them in the water. Yeah, because <laughs> apparently they just float. Yeah, I've seen it. That's only, I feel like that's like a specific age 
like it's only for the first like yeah, month of their you life. Can't, you can't throw your toddler drown. in the pool. They just go to the bottom. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm sure you're right. There's got to be a, an age around it. Yeah, like I feel like it's just a very short But it was just funny time. to watch people just chuck their babies into the water and just over the Willy mess. nilly. Right, like <laughs> why would you do that? <laughs> My dog fell in the pool once, and it fucker just sank oh, like a rock. Oh, he did. Uh, he hit the bottom it. fast. Oh, busy boy. Yeah, no, that was... <laughs> that was head first. <laughs> that was so funny. And, uh, he didn't even kick his legs. He just got to the bottom and was sank. looking up. He said, well, this is it. <laughs> oh. <laughs> no, he was saved right away. Oh, man. That was, but he did sink. Yeah, <laughs> like a rock, man. There was not even a chance of, there was no, no buoyancy was at all. Fucking, well, and it was crazy because when he pounds. was a puppy, he at least like kind of. Kick his legs. He wasn't good at his doggy paddle, but he at least did it and yeah. could kind of stay above. But then once he got to be his thick self, mm -mm. yeah, he just. Not a swimmer. Right to the bottom. Not Bulldogs. an athlete, that one. Bulldogs were no. there. That was their no. special boy. <laughs> They're really not known to be swimming dogs no not at all well no that's why we didn't put them in the pool they're he loafs put himself, he put in, himself the pool. in the pool that, hey you know that that chlorine <laughs> yes that chlorine bouncer could have killed somebody that's um exactly why he ended up in the pool because that chlorine thing chlorine was floating and he would growl at it oh it's so funny my boy <laughs> it was funny oh dogs are weird they are humans are weird yeah Kayla was honking weirder. at him all day. <laughs> <laughs> Jeff, seriously, I was driving. Full disclosure, when I have road rage, I don't honk at people. But no. I love being in the car and someone fucks up and I'm the passenger. <laughs> I don't even The entire time, he's just over there just hitting it. <laughs> I was like, honked her horn like six times today. And the one Surrounded guy surrounded like, by idiots. The one guy like starts swerving over, and so Jeff hits the horn, and I looked at Jeff, and I was like, "What was happening?" He's like, he was coming over. You're welcome. <laughs> today, <laughs> I just remembered. Today, after that situation that I told you about earlier, with the lady turning from the left lane, turning right. Yeah, as you do. I turn on the. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I I turn onto my you know the side street by my house. And I'm driving up there. And a dude is driving in the middle of the road, swerves like we're driving 90 miles an hour. Yeah. It's like, dude, you're in the middle of the road, bud. I can't get any. I'll be taking out mailboxes if I go any farther <laughs> over. People are weird. People are It was just weird. really bad drivers out today. I don't know. Maybe because it's finally. It stopped felt raining. Felt like spring in southeastern Wisconsin. Yeah, like it was nice I think it was out. the warm weather. People were just excited, and obviously they didn't know what the fuck was going on. I Their brains were just scrambled. so many motorcycles today. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, they were out. It's good. Bring them back. Let's go. I I can say one good thing about the rain. Cut your grass. My car looks great. All the salt is off my car. That's beautiful. That's good. That is beautiful. Like, I walked out there yesterday. That's the Wisconsin car wash. I looked at it, and I was just like, ah, I was going to go wash my car today. I don't, I, no, I ain't going to do that. No need. No need. Nature did it for me. <laughs> How kind. I'm just waiting. I'm like, it's going to rain, right? Tomorrow, right? Well, if I want, instead of like a rain dance, you just go wash your car and spend $12 because it's raining sometime soon. <laughs> yeah. If not today, tomorrow, it's going to rain for sure. You don't wash your car. It's a rain dance. This time of year anyway, because April showers. Bring May flowers. Yeah, but you got to get the underside. You yeah. got to scrub the undies. You know what I'm saying? You got to get in there. <laughs> you got to get in there deep black. Well, it's salt life in Wisconsin yeah. for a different reason because it's salt all over the fucking road. And so that's much why salt. Uh, my vehicles looks like shit. Well, they just put it's salt rusted. down. It was like earlier this week. I don't think week. they put any salt down. I'll earlier, be honest. earlier Did this they? week, yeah, when I was driving to work in the morning, there were a bunch of, um, wow, plows. Just wow plows. I couldn't think of the word at first. And then, so I said, wow. And then I remembered the word. Every time a plow passes me, I go, wow, wow, wow. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine Owen Wilson. Wow. 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 <laughs> he better just stay home during a snowstorm. <laughs> wow. Bro, we had a guy call off because of the storm, the snowstorm. <laughs> really? The two inches? This week? Yeah. 
Wednesday. It, I have never laughed harder in my life. I drove Janice to work let that me tell day. You, let me tell you what <laughs> happened to that guy. Because we were supposed to get quite a bit of snow. So he already knew he wasn't going in. So oh, he yeah. got hammered drunk. Oh, for sure. And he set 12 alarms. And on the or, 11th one, he got up. He didn't go to him. bed. <laughs> he yes. didn't go to bed. He was like, we're those. riding this out. <laughs> yeah. That that uh, made us all kind of giggle. Like, dude, you got a truck. And, four and we drive. have like an inch. And there's, I drove my car to work. <laughs> Front wheel drive. Front wheel drive. Tiny I little. drove Janice. Oh, Janice. A half hour to work. Yeah. So, yeah, I just laugh at that shit like that. It makes me giggle. Right. Like, we're in Wisconsin. Oh, my God. It's raining. I can't leave my house. Oh, Sugar belts, baby. Uh-oh. It's like it's rain. Yeah, wipers, right? Yeah, but it was supposed it snowed, Jeffrey. There were flurries. Those were oh some big ass flakes. They were. Like when I got to work. <laughs> yeah, the people that are scared to drive. Yeah, that too. <laughs> but when I got to work, it was just like a light drizzle. And when the sun came up, it was those gigantic <clears throat> just yes. flakes. We had a guy one time call in too, and I think he lived he might have lived a block away. <laughs> And he had a snowmobile. What? But don't snow around here anymore. So he's like, fuck it. I'm riding my snowmobile today. Yeah. That's yeah, one thing that's, I wouldn't buy is, out here anymore. That is the biggest waste of, any, no. of money is buying a snowmobile right now. Unless you... Unless you live up north. I was going to say, unless you have the time to like travel up yeah, there every weekend to or ride. Canadian listeners. Yes. George St. Pierre. Definitely not listen to this podcast. <laughs> what do you mean? Good I spare. I was in the Scouts. I thought you were going to pour it into that cup. <laughs> so I was I watching I to see do. what you were going to do. Uh, well, we'll keep it natural. Look at that. Just totally naked. It, you can sit too close to that mic when you drink. It's so disturbing. <laughs> oh, fuck. So I saw a video. I want them to taste the bubbles with me. I'm already inside them right now in their heads. Oh so God. I'm just gonna now I'm gonna be in there. He's digging a hole, digging a nice little hole in your brain. AS, ASMR. Oh no 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 no. <laughs> Let's take a picture. <laughs> Ew. <laughs> Ew. <laughs> How do you make macaroni and cheese <laughs> with fucking earmuffs on? <laughs> yes, earmuffs. I put earmuffs on to make it. You can't. Yes, yeah, so you don't hear. Ear earmuffs are for the cold. They don't earplugs. Yeah, but yeah they no. don't. I just picture you just with earmuffs on. Earmuffs. It's a. Hey, it's all you've, you have available. You've seen me make. Do we have earplugs in this house? No. Do we have earmuffs? Yes. No. Yeah. Also, no. Oh, I'll find some right now. <laughs> okay, please do. All right, we'll pause this. Ready? Here I go. And we're back. And yeah, uh, I found none. Guess we don't. Guess we don't have earmuffs. <laughs> I just, it's just, it's funnier to picture it that way. The big old earmuffs on. You yeah, just like stir the big, in a big ones. pot. <laughs> You've seen me make mac and cheese. I don't know. How it's do not you make it? It's not in my ear. Like, it's not. You don't put your ear up to the pot and stir it oh, slow? Oh, no. No. Jeff does. He's, yeah, and then he's I have to real, shower. He's a real nurturer of that cheese. Ugh. You know I shower oh. every time I make mac and cheese. <laughs> 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 and I bring the ladle. <laughs> I don't. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. Oh. Let's <clears throat> go off the rails quick. God, it's so gross. It's so gross. <laughs> All right. So I saw a video this week and it was uh, snacks from like the 90s that you could bring back. Yes. And the first one that popped up was Lifesaver Holes. And I forgot about those forever. Ago. Those are my jam. I actually, I like the holes. Little plastic tubes. It's basically M and M minis before, but yeah. the middle of lifesavers. Yeah, they the middle were, of the holes. And they were actually the middles. The missing middles. Mm-hmm. You could put them back in. Why not? That's good on, marketing. Then choke on. The I don't bit. remember those. You know what they did bring back though? I saw on that list, and they actually brought them back. Was those Doritos 3D? Yeah, yes. just brought those back. Yeah, I've seen them in the ago. store. Yeah, but they. <clears throat> Went with like a fiery flavor instead of just going with the 
The Cool Ranch. They just yeah. had, yeah, it wasn't even nacho cheese. It was, it was some weird queso fire. I used yeah. to love the Cool Ranch ones. The 3Ds, yeah. Yeah. You know Something what else about them. Cheetos Paws. Oh, Ooh, yes. Those were bangers. Those I miss were good. those. Yeah. I love, I'm, um, obviously you're subscribed to one of those pages, right? 90s Nostalgia something or something? Like that, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I was going to say, what page is here, Jeffrey? No, the 90s <laughs> Nostalgia, because I'm going through my feet, and it's like, uh, it's so weird how you, something was imprinted in my brain, like as a child. Like, I remember this shit. Yeah. But then as you grow up, like, you forget about it. So, like, when I see, like, you said shark bites, and I, yeah. I remember as a kid, you'd always save the white ones for last. I don't know. Those, what were they? Know. Like candy? They're like fruit snacks. Yeah, fruit snacks. For they some reason, shaped. for some reason in the '90s, there was every kind of shape of fruit snack. Yeah, you can get. Yeah, like there was the bears, the sharks. There was cartoon characters. There was Rugrats had fruit snacks. Everyone had fruit mm -hmm. snacks. Like anybody that had a Nickelodeon show had a fruit snack. Cereals too. Yeah, I mean, fucking Mr. T. Mr. T had a cereal. Nintendo had a cereal. I see. I forget. I don't remember that one at all. It looked like, so it was a box, a regular box, cereal box, black background, and it had like two looked like TV screens on it. One was Mario, one was Duck Hunt. Oh, I miss Duck Hunt. I got it. I love Duck Hunt. What was that? I got a tube TV in my garage, so oh. gun works. Oh, shit. And then there's just some cereals I'll never eat again, but I know how they felt in my mouth. Captain Crunch. Yes. You see, I Captain, love Captain Okay, but I loved Captain Crunch. Are you Crunch. a psycho? No, the roof of my mouth did not love Captain Crunch. Right. You had to let Captain Crunch sit for three days. Yes, before you I would put it, it in there. No, but and then I would, it doesn't taste good. It's not the same. I'd push it under the milk. I would waterboard. <laughs> <laughs> what were those cookie <laughs> um, waterboarded. <laughs> what was the cookie one? Cookie crisp. Cookie Yo, crisp, cookie. yeah. Oh my god, I only ever had those at those my dad's too. house. Those two, you had to fucking waterboard so the shit out of those. So good. They still make cookie crisp. Do they? I feel like yeah. I haven't seen yeah. them. I just like on Halloween now. They brought back Frankenberry and Count Chocula. Yeah, that's cool and, to see. And Booberry. What's another? What's another candy? What's a candy? Because you're obviously a little younger than us. What's something that you remember? Like Sobe teas. Remember the Sobe's? Surge. No. I remember Sobe's. It had the two uh, geckos. Yeah, the ge the I know. Yeah, but that's, I don't, I feel like that was like later. Like, mm. I don't know. Or maybe I just remember it from now. Because I feel like I still see them. Employee of the Month. And we talked was about the last it. last time I saw a Sobe. <laughs> was the movie Employee of the Month. Yeah. Are these, they're not in stores anymore? I feel like I've seen them. No? So do I. I know. That's You right. know what they did come back with is, uh, what is it, Miss Mystic or? Yep. It's like a fruit, a fruity drink. And they have. It's in the glass container or the glass. Glass bottles. Yeah. Yep. You know what I remember? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, we I talked about those. it last week with BJ is like. We were re watching uh, what X Men just yes. got re released, and so I started watching the older ones. But I that's what I feel like I love that with like the kids is like you get to re watch this shit like with your kids. Like, yeah. Bella, yeah. sometimes Bella will fucking will be watching something and she'll leave, and I'm just <laughs> like it's sitting there, he's watching, watching it. it. Yeah, well, yeah, I mean, that's but that, you're talking about with WrestleMania, like, yeah. I mean, The Rock is back, and you're just like, it's going back to the... Uh, it's going back to the Attitude Era. Yeah, the Golden Age. And I'm like, nothing sells better than nostalgia. nostalgia. Like, nothing. Like, tomorrow night, the main event, because it's no holds barred, is going to be The Rock will be down there, and I'm guaranteeing there's going to be a bunch of old guys. I guarantee somehow Stone Cold Steve Austin comes, <laughs> comes out. Because it's the 40th year of WrestleMania. Okay. I'm not good with Roman numerals. I was trying to figure that out earlier. I remember I was like, XL. Okay. I was five years I old. I thought it was like extra large men. I was five years old. <laughs> but it was for 30 or 40, you said? 40. 40. 40. I was five years old when the first WrestleMania came out. And I remember the newspaper ad. No wow. shit. Because it was Hulk Hogan just <clears throat> ripped. Just larger than yeah. life. And that's, Damn. I think that was like the first time I was like, oh, I want to watch this. 
and then from five years old on to now. Yeah, he's still going. <laughs> he's still it. watching it. Like I love in, it. Like in the nineties when WWE was like the worker characters. Like there was the garbage man and there was the you know, the, the, <laughs> the tax guy. Man. There was the tax guy and stuff like that. Well, it's probably because someone's dad did it or you did it. You know, like hey, well, my fucking dad's a carpenter. When they Let's went go. to that, it wasn't worth watching because it was dumb. It was it was like a shitty cartoon. Okay. So not feeling it. Like my mid teens, also like ninety two, ninety three. I went and saw my dad in Vermont. And there was a TV show, like, at 2 o'clock in the morning. You know, when you're on summer break, yeah. you don't sleep. <laughs> no. Like, the sleep is not an option in the summer for some reason. And ECW came on. This, like, local independent wrestling thing in the night. And I saw it, and I was instantly like, I'm back. This is awesome. <laughs> the first I'm back, baby. The first thing I see is a dude getting tied up by his legs and, like, hung off a balcony in the it was it's the it was the wildest shit i ever saw so Did i was that like kind of get into the, and the that, fucking like barbed wire era yes okay so the crazy shit like the jackass wrestling so that spawned <laughs> that stuff kind of spawned that era J- japan had king of the death matches in the mid 90s like exploding barbed wire death matches Jeez. and just the wildest shit you've ever seen. Exploding barbed wire. I they would have legit. Those are bombs. Legit, <laughs> legit pieces of C four on the ropes that would blow up and make these gigantic explosions. These dudes would bombs. Have, these dudes would just be <laughs> Those are bombs. Yeah, just burnt and and so everybody loved it in Japan and you couldn't get away with that on national TV in you know the states. So ECW did as close to that as they could in their storylines were more real life like the one storyline was the girl got pregnant by the other guy and oh jesus yeah it was it was soap opera yeah yeah for with, dudes with super vi- just super violence <laughs> yes, and sexual and swearing and it was awesome so ecw became like a feeder and that's what happened that's how the attitude era started in wwe was everything went to more edgy remember everything was extreme in the 90s yeah, chips, extreme. extreme, deodorant was extreme. Everything was extreme. Movies were called extreme. I mean, it was it was the buzzword for like weird. five. Do you remember any of that or no? Um, well, <laughs> I mean. <laughs> it was a time where I was... every fucking thing, and I think obviously wrestling like kind of propelled that. I was younger than our daughter. Kids were getting kicked out of ended, school for so. telling their teachers to suck it. <laughs> Dude, the DX child. Okay, but yeah, we had a teacher um, who could not fucking stand because we would just call people jabronis <laughs> all the time. And he, they would get so mad because uh, you don't even know what it means. But that was everybody was a fucking jabroni. You fucking jabroni. <laughs> Jabron. Do you know what a jabroni is now? No. It's in it's in the dictionary now. I'm gonna find that teacher. Urban Dictionary. A jabroni is like a uh, born loser. Okay. A born loser. Like a guy that you know, like every time he bets, he just loses his. Oh well. He goes and buys a new car and like three, Chevy Chase and. <laughs> yeah, he he's a jabron. He's he's a jabroni. That's a, it's, was that Christmas vacation. That, that's one of these words. Or Vegas yeah. vacation. And then pick a hand. <laughs> So in in the world of wrestling, a jabroni is a jobber, an enhancement talent, a guy that like Hulk Hogan would be. See, I should have known this in high school because I could have told them. It would be like Hulk Hogan versus Steve Johnson. You know, he'd beat the (laughs) shit out of the guy and pin him in two minutes. Poor Steve Johnson. How many guys, though? I mean, obviously, you're a wrestling fan. It's a huge guilty pleasure for you, and I I love the excitement. You get one, dude. Watching. This time of year is Super Bowl. It's baby. like BJ <laughs> drinking an IPA. Like, yeah, he just gets so rock hard, and I I love it. But <laughs> how many of those guys were like? I mean, that was their uh, to get there. I mean, it was I'm their sure, dream. I'm sure you're happy to get there, but like, whoa, uh, I feel like they got Earth there, break. and then yeah. they're like, all right, this is it. I'm gonna take off, and then they just became just workers, jabronis, as you would call them. So most of those guys. 
would be local wrestlers. <clears throat> sorry. Why is this ice so loud? Because you're so close <laughs> to the... switch cups. I'm sorry. So most of the enhancement talent would always be like a, a local... Like a local wrestler. It's because it's class. So, like, guys that were, like, good on the independence in their town. It would be like the old Carney days where, oh, <laughs> you, you can win $10 if you beat, you know, Fast Hand Joe in boxing or wrestling. Yeah. That's what that came from. Okay. So, they would have their... So, little, their local... So, they would go to a town and then beat the shit out of the locals. And yeah. Then, but they'd have a cool <laughs> story to tell. Yeah. All right. I feel you. I so, get that now. So after the 80s, they kind of got away from that because they went more reality-based. And, like, tonight, all those guys would never wrestle, uh, you know, an enhancement talent. Yeah. Like, some might, like, when they're first coming up, but the, everybody that wrestled tonight would all wrestle each other. That's all the top talent on that show tonight. And, Kaylee, you're not into it, really. So, like, what's your perspective watching it like what's going through your head she actually liked the press when you're conference. watching yeah the press uh, conference was fun that was funny yeah that was funny i don't know I, it it's it, it's different <laughs> um, uh, it doesn't hurt my feelings it's it's everybody's got their thing well yeah no, no. because it's kind of like when we went um and we watched the wrestling here in town always fun right like at first i was watching it and i was like what the fuck am i doing here but then, like, it gets so stupid. You get into it. Yes, yeah. that you get into it, and then it's funny. And so I feel like that's like this, right? Like, I can't. The storylines, I think, are absolutely ridiculous. I don't think you can go to a wrestling match without saying something. Like, <laughs> can you no. go there and just be quiet? Like, no. Right. No. Like, because I definitely we're thought really I would huge be. huge wrestling fans. And, uh, yeah, but I think it might be one of those things that you have to just see live. When you go live. Yeah. So, yeah. Jeff, I had Jeff watch a uh, documentary about a guy that was big. His name is Bray Wyatt. He was a third generation wrestler and passed away of a heart attack. But his character was so wild, like not like what it was like uh, multiple characters. Yeah, the when he first when he first came back with the Bray Wyatt character, where it was like uh, Cape Fear. De Niro kind of like cult leader mm -hmm. from the by it was no one was doing shit like that so he was so far ahead of the game and I think with the stuff that he did is what's ushering this era now the more reality based the more you know them finding their character and actually building it to be something amazing it is crazy too how they like the undertaker he wasn't Always the Undertaker. Like, you no. see pictures of him. Mm -hmm. You know, even as a, not a wrestling fan, you know who the Undertaker is. Yeah, well, I'd have to see him. But you know, as soon as you but saw yeah. him. As soon as you yeah. saw him. Yeah. But yeah. it's weird. Like, Stone Cold Steve Austin. I saw yeah. a picture of him. Like, hair, blonde yeah. hair. But he was stunning like, Steve Austin. Yes. It is. It's so wild to see where they. What they start as and what they build right. to. And how John Cena is a. Boston rapper wearing jorts ever took off. I'll never understand. Those damn jorts. You know, you know why it took off? Is he just such a nice guy that it's just like, all right. Why it took off is because he was charismatic. Charisma in pro wrestling, if you don't have charisma, if you if you could be the best worker in the world, you could do all the flips, all the beautiful things, but if you can't talk on a microphone and make people like you, yeah, you're doomed. It's over. So yeah, like, you're fucked. So you see all these, you know, you see guys trying to live their dreams, and it's like, I get it, dude, but God. this is this is the gym you're going to be working in the rest of your life. I can see your boner for me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, flap. But then there's then there's guys you see on those on those independent shows. Like we saw a girl wrestle in Rumpels, who is now a mainstay on AEW. She got signed to a ma the second major company. And works every week and, right. and makes a living. But where she started was shitty little gyms. Yeah. And she lived her dream. Well, yeah, you got to pay your due. Yeah. It's people chasing their dreams. What's uh, what's a, one of your guilty pleasures? Obviously, wrestling is a, it's not really a guilty pleasure, but. It's, it's like that. It's the, it falls in the nerd category. Yeah. I'm trying to think like what. I know. I always what do I like nerd out about? Space. Oh my the god! Cosmos. Yes, he does. <laughs> yes, he does. Jeff in the cosmos. Yeah, I love the cosmos. 
Yeah, I definitely think you're. That's easy. When it comes to that. Yeah. I. That's easy. Well, I even had you. to think about it, but then when you said it, I'm like, yeah. <laughs> I think mine. That and but I don't talk about yeah, it because oh, no one yeah. wants to hear that it. and Supras. Oh, but you do talk about it. Not as much as you probably no, like because no one wants to hear it. So I just. You do talk about it. Be quiet. It's it's usually when we've been at the pool all day and he's tuned up. Yeah. <laughs> he just yeah. starts. Yeah, normally floating in the pool by myself, just staring at the stars. Or after we've been drinking all day shit. and at the end of the night, yeah, somebody makes a comment. He's like, "But when you really think about how small we are compared yeah. to yeah. the universe, and we're, like, oh, not, here we go. We're not like, even if the, if dust. those people in those cars today." Okay, didn't think the universe revolved around them. And they just realized that we're all just fucking specks of sand. They might have turned their fucking turn signal. Off. No, they probably wouldn't have because most people are assholes. Well, Here, you want, you want to hear, here's another one. We're just going to call this podcast Turn Your Fucking Turn Signal. Yes. <laughs> just no, the PSA. It's just blinkers are optional. We have a guy might have been who, who took fluid. off work next week because he's Because of the snow? He's flying to Texas for Monday's eclipse. I currently have two employees out, coworkers, whatever, out um, for a week because they're going to watch the eclipse. We're getting 98% coverage here. Yeah, well, it's better at other places. I don't know. I think watching an eclipse is equivalent to videotaping fireworks going off. <laughs> I don't give a fuck. Yeah. That's fair. It's cool, I, I, honestly, but yeah, honestly, I'm it's a saying. memory. Can I just have yeah. the memory? Like, I yeah. would, honestly. Well, I guess you can't really film. They're not going down there to film it. Haley's they? comment no. past the earth, like in the 80s, and I remember seeing that. That's like my first cosmos kind of memory was I got to see Haley's comment. But Space is just awesome and freaks me out, and I love to talk about it, but no one wants to hear it. <laughs> It's like a fantasy football team. You just want just shut up. No one cares about your team. <laughs> but I'm going gonna, I'm, I'm gonna to tell you right now, this eclipse could bring some weird stuff. Conspiracy theory stuff might happen. I think it might. Maybe ships will hit bridges and shit. Power will just stop working. No, it's like Y2K all over again. Well, There's a lot. Emma, listening everybody's clips. everybody's. Kayla works at the uh, full disclosure. Works at a. Uh, a long-term facility? Yeah, long-term care facility. And it gets weird around the full moon. For no some joke, reason, like, right? Nobody like, nobody believes nobody <laughs> believes that until you either work in healthcare or you have somebody close to you that works in it. Mm -hmm. Because shit gets weird. And it's full just... Full moon. Yeah, full moon. Always. Always. Like, all of a sudden, you're like, oh... Janice is at it again, and you look and you're like, "Oh, full moon's coming tomorrow." <laughs> like, it's just, it's, yeah, it's crazy. You wonder if there's something to that. It's the tides. It's the, uh, the freak. All that. Obviously, the freaks come out at night. Yeah. However, but it has nothing to do if you're a fucking vertigo or, or a Virgo or a fucking Capricorn. No. Or it has nothing to do See, with I that. I love all that stuff, but you can you spacists. I love when someone reads it because it, it tells you what, oh, yeah. Aquarius. And yeah. then you read it and you're like, yep, they nailed it. Okay, I'm going to put 12 cards out in front of you and you pick which one's yours. Yeah. yeah. Blank cards. Because you're going to be like, oh, that one's me for sure. And then you're going to read the next one and you're going to be like, oh, fuck. This, <laughs> yeah. this one's this me too. This is me. Oh, fuck. This <laughs> one's me too. Yeah. Because <laughs> they're just so it's blank. It's like the guys that talk to the dead. Yes. The mediums? Yes. Mm -hmm. He's saying, don't worry about the money. Everybody's got money problems. Yeah. Especially people that watch those shows. Right. Yes. Because it's on at noon on a Thursday when you should be at work. I don't believe in that stuff. But like to touch on like the space things. So like when it comes to like full moons, mm -hmm. I do believe like there's obviously like there's a pull, right? Yeah. Between Earth and the moon. And so I feel like it does kind of offset some things. It does, mm -hmm. for sure. You know, because like, well, I mean. Ener I think energy and grounding, too. Because there's there's a, they say like walking in grass barefoot is mm. like super. It's good for you. Being <laughs> what is happening? There's a dog under this table. <laughs> <laughs> I 
And I think uh, she just bumped her head. No, she knocked those, those uh, extension poles to f- hold the okay. legs in place. Oh. Do you know about these beds that they have, though? You plug them in. Oh, yeah, you ground yourself. You can ground yourself. It's a mat. It's a mat you put under your... So, obviously, like what you're saying, like the tides and the full moons, like there is... The earth has to has some kind of energy, right? Yeah. I mean, it's... Well, yeah, like it, it, it... Yeah, exactly. Exactly. But it is crazy because, like, people... You know, you have somebody that is normally sweet as pie, and then here comes the full moon, and... right. They're no longer <laughs> sweet as pie, but then when it's gone, you wonder they're if back to their self. You like, wonder if that's the um, the like origin story of like a werewolf, like who thought of? Yeah, someone just went yeah. crazy in a full moon, and right, like yeah, you wonder, huh? Hmm. Now Isn't I it ironic? Mind, now I just mind fucked myself. <laughs> Isn't it ironic? Yeah. <laughs> Diving deep. Earlier, when you asked me two things, yeah. Uh, things that I remember, like food-wise, from when, from in like the '90s, purple ketchup. I don't know if that was yep. the '90s mm-hmm. or if that was very early 2000s. Early 2000s. A purple and green. But ketchup. I remember the yep. purple ketchup. Easy squeeze. Yes. Yep. I remember yep. that. Yep. And then what I nerd out about. What do you nerd out about? Babe? What do you think I nerd out about? Do you even know? Blankets. Blankets. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I like blankets. That's no, not what I nerd. There's no way. It's not what I nerd out about, but yes, I do love blankets. There's a blanket in every corner of this house. And yet, whenever people Bro. stay here, they don't use them. No. <laughs> or the that king size bed. That was one of the, we'll talk about nostalgia, sleeping over at a friend's house and just being cold <laughs> as shit. Because guys don't worry about anybody. Nope. Girls, when you guys had sleepovers, you like, did everyone have pillows and blankets? No, like, but I maybe that's where my, my love of blankets comes from. I would sleep with my in hands jacket. inside my yeah. t-shirt. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. In my buddy's freezing house, just yeah. taking it every time. I'll be here next weekend, bro. We'll freeze again. <laughs> oh my god! No, Always I do love blanket. blankets. But what do you nerd out about, Kayla? Oh, it's like. It, it's history. Love history, huh? Ooh. Like, what kind of history? Like, Jeff always talks shit. He's like, all your shows are before electricity was invented. <laughs> <laughs> and it's true. <laughs> it's so true. It's so true. But are you into history, or do you just like... Are you into history, or do you just like I, Or do you just like that period in time? I yeah. like that period in time. Like, so I don't want to go read all the books about it. Like, Yeah, you don't want to read about... Yeah. Like, I wouldn't I want just, like, a factual book on what happened but what do you what do you like about it is it like the, the dressing know. and the balls and the corsets and the i think it's the just like ma- the whole the social i think it's like the whole social aspects of it all like the different houses and like the different social classes and how it played out and i don't know i don't i, I don't know what it is but yeah it, yeah she loves anything like, for electricity you She's like in. well-written period pieces but I like I like the ones that are based like obviously it's not all factual right but I like the ones that are based off of things that happen and I I actually really like like documentaries What's on it? these things but like what period is it all just like uh, the eighteen hundred type yeah I feel like it's mm-hmm. like late eighteen hundreds early nineteen hundreds like right after the American Revolution when everything started getting when people started getting money. And like, there was like the yeah. high class, and they're all scheming against the lower class. And so, yeah, like a hundred, you get so the 1800s, yeah, the, the 1860s. Sure. Yeah. So, like I said, yeah, like late 1800s, early 1900s. I just, I don't know. I love it. And then, like, around, um, see, this is where it's like, I don't, I nerd out about history, but not to the point where I like know anything. Yeah. Like dates and shit like that. Yeah. Right? You just like those older style shows. Yeah. Yeah. But like, I just, I don't know. Well, that's, you know, people watch all the Game of Thrones type stuff. People watch all that kind of stuff and they nerd out about and they're at the Renaissance Fair every weekend. <laughs> yeah, I, yeah, that stuff I'm not, I mean, I really like, uh, like I enjoyed Game of Thrones and stuff like that, but. Honestly, I think Kayla needs to go to C2E2 with us. Yeah, you'd have a good time. Yeah, you're going to bring along COVID again? 
No. Or it was COVID. <laughs> yeah, we We're got there try. just in time. <laughs> We're going to try, you know. The old pandy. Uh, no, Kayla and C2E2, she'd, she'd have fun, but she needs to get to the Renaissance Fair stat. I, yeah. I used to go to the Renaissance Fair, like, as maybe a kid. Maybe that's why. Huh. Well, maybe that's why. Are we maybe. Getting, are we diving deep right now? I don't know. Maybe. Yeah, but the Renaissance kid, was go. way before that time, though. Yeah. True. She likes it. That's, uh, that's before America. Like, was America, America was on the coming up. Coming yeah. up America. Yeah. Like, when California was just getting, the gold rush was just starting, and America was kicking ass. The East Coast was built up, built up. Cities yeah. and stuff. It was like when it first started Yeah, getting built up. Yeah, I don't know. I find it interesting. Right before the skyscrapers. Yeah. Oh. Horses and buggies and yeah. lanterns. That's what she likes. Anything before electricity, she's in. Yep. Right on. I enjoy it. What's that time? Didn't you watch like a time traveler one where the lady time traveled? She's like a doctor. Yes. Like, um. Wow. Oh, that's your jam. Uh. Lady. Yeah, but it starts with an O. Oh, o. Oh, Outlander. Yeah. Outlander. So now she gets the best of both. I I love it. I love that show. <laughs> Check out so Outlander. good. Honestly, you might so like good. Warrior. But I also liked. Uh, do you remember when I used to watch the One Hundred? Is that the one we started? Yeah. The Bruce Lee, the Bruce Lee, Bruce Lee one. one, yeah. Hmm. It's like 1920s she, New York. Yeah, you might like the kung fu too. The Chinese, Maybe. it's like for all the Chinese folk they they brought in to work on the railroads for you know their cheap labor. Okay, it's basically based on that for electricity, yeah. and it's the I, and it's the Irish versus the Chinese mostly because the Irish were the dirt cheap labor until the Chinese came. Wow, oh. let's give it a shot. There's so many okay. things I gotta watch. What did we just finish? That World War, what was it World War Two? Oh, uh, it's the no, no, it's the po- the the. Oh. That handsome guy. Oh, it's Who's the that guy that guy? it's that guy. Peaky, Peaky that Blinders. Just <clears throat> no, no, I oh, no, I it's love about that the, show. Uh, the bomber pilots in World War Two. Yeah, with the guy the that played Masters Elvis. of the Sky. Yes, yes. that or Masters of the Air. Masters of the Air. Yes, yeah, I couldn't. It, it was something. I was Very there. Good. Yeah, it you're in the ballpark. Yeah, it was really good. Wasn't it's K- a crazy. Was Killian Murphy in that show too? No, it was the uh, the guy who plays Elvis. Kayla's new obsession. I'm not obsessed. I just I don't know. There's something about him. He's a handsome man. They all look the same now. No, no he's got a very distinct look to him. You know the new Elvis movie? Yeah, I, we. I think we've had this discussion about. Yeah, this. the guy mm-hmm. that plays yeah. him. I don't know his name. Obviously not memorable. That's okay. What? I don't ever remember anybody's names. I know you don't. It's something but She actually has Jeff written in the palm of her hand. Yeah. Just in yeah. case. <laughs> Good morning. I got it tattooed right here. Jeff. <laughs> 51st dates. <laughs> yeah, watch this tape before you go to work. We've been married and together for quite some time, my lady. Yeah, no, I'm awful at remembering names. Which is weird because... I feel like I call you Milady, and that should be around that timepiece, and you just you not have it most of the time. I think it's probably because when you say it to me, like, like after I come, <laughs> I'll get you a towel, my lady. <laughs> <laughs> but it's a yeah, it's a de- endearment. Sure. Sure. Don't. Just, don't just like what she calls you, asshole. Yeah, <laughs> it's a term of endearment. Exactly. I go to bed just glowing. I love her so much. <laughs> He's like, oh, I'm her asshole. And I'm turning off all these lights and buying a lantern. Maybe she'll fuck me more. <laughs> God. Probably not. No. Maybe nope. that boy can dream, can he? Would you put your kid in a gorilla pit for 50 grand? <gasps> I almost grabbed that one. <laughs> no. I would not. I would put myself in it, but I'm not going to, not the life of my child. That's just, no. no. Although gorillas do normally just grab the children and hold them. I mean, that's. Shout out I, Harambe. Honestly, this, this is when all this shit started. They shot Harambe and then they started um, putting brooms on end. Remember that? That was a thing. Oh, yeah. When they have the broom stand, they're like, it's standing by itself. <laughs> Do you not do you remember yeah. the brooms? Yeah. That's when it all hit the fan. Then we had fucking COVID, Donald Trump, 
All this shit. Now we got Sleepy Joe. My lord. Whoever's running the Matrix right now has a Trojan horse virus or something because it's like live <laughs> wire. Like falling asleep. It's what like what's going on? What it's is, like, she, who is programming Ridley. this? It's like your it's like your computer after you download something on LimeWire. <laughs> <laughs> yes. It is completely fucked. He they Ooh. just downloaded a fucking little Wayne mixtape. <laughs> <laughs> DJ blah blah blah. DJ, what was it? White Owl? DJ yeah. White Owl burned into my brain. Um, yeah, no. My kid's not going in there. No. It's only fifty grand. If it yeah, was Yeah, fuck no. If it was <laughs> five hundred grand. No, I'd throw myself in there. Would you put yourself in? I think that might be a better question. Yeah. Oh, I think I would really consider it. I don't know if I would do it. I mean I wouldn't do it. It depends on how long I gotta be in there. How many gorillas? Yeah, and if it's, if it's is it one silverback or is it a pack of? I don't fuck with gorillas, man. I don't either. No. It will rip you the fuck apart. Yeah. You, you ever see a shaved gorilla? Yeah, <laughs> a gorilla with mange. Yeah. You're jacked, shredded in a different. That was a dog ear, not a fart. <laughs> oh. Just to put it out there. <laughs> nah, yeah. Oh. What right. you got, Ben? Who would win a fight? 10 10 year olds or 100 100 year olds <laughs> against you against 10 10 year olds no who would oh. win a fight 10 10 year olds or 100 100 year olds oh 100 100 year olds yeah they would just over they would just they've seen some shit and they would just over they have they would seen some shit think about it, you have 10 10 year olds all in like a circle back to back ready to fight these and they just come in like zombies and gum them yeah no they're down <laughs> <laughs> it's ten, over. Ten, ten year olds don't stand a chance. I don't know. I guess I think about one hundred year olds and what they normally how their level of function. Yeah, are we talking about like standing? I don't. It doesn't. It doesn't really go into detail. Oh, okay. And you are know, we talking like death's door one hundred year olds? You, you know, there's hundred year olds out there too that have those motorized scooters that would just oh, run they're just them running to, them yeah. over. <laughs> it's over. <laughs> Those kids are dead. Yeah, no, oh. the one hundred. It's all for sure. For sure, the hundred year olds. <laughs> okay, what do we got here? Would you rather never have any buffalo sauce food again, or only be able to masturbate to pregnant porn? <laughs> oh, that's a good turn. <laughs> <laughs> Guess I'm not eating buffalo anymore. I started reading it because I forgot what I picked, and I was like, oh, this is pretty pretty normal. <laughs> <laughs> pretty normal? It took a left-handed turn real quick. Get All the- right, buffalo sauce or pregnant porn? What do you got, babe? Buffalo sauce. I don't want to... I don't what? even want to watch pregnant porn. You should. Whoa, what? What you <laughs> that that your voice? Voice? <laughs> Did you have a bug in your throat? <laughs> they get well, air well, 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 well. <laughs> We were taking helium. Oh, earlier. my God. Yeah, earlier we had those helium balloons from Jeff's birthday. And so I was just going to pop them and throw them away. And the kids, of course, got all excited. And so <laughs> they're all sucking in the helium. Oh, his voice really didn't change. No, not much. <laughs> not much. But the boys were singing songs. Oh, it was so funny. <laughs> the lollipop game. <laughs> <laughs> all right, John. Oh, buffalo sauce. You're getting rid of buffalo sauce? Yeah. Dude. You're keeping the no, you're keeping the pool. No. <laughs> I didn't read I didn't take it like that. Reread it. Huh? No, would you would you rather never have any buffalo sauce food again? Or only watch only be able to masturbate to pregnant porn. So you can't masturbate anymore. Unless it's pregnant porn. Uh, yep, Do you no. want to read this? I'm getting rid of buffalo sauce. <laughs> you can only masturbate to pregnant porn. Well, it looks like I'm still eating buffalo sauce and <laughs> watching fat bitches get fucked. <laughs> See, this is where like being like I'd say a female, but me. Like I'm just like, yep, no more buffalo sauce because I'm not watching pregnant porn. Okay. Fair enough. No porn. Fair enough, honey. Jeff doesn't eat buffalo anyway, so, so that Yeah. I'm just... Pregnant porn for me. <laughs> Jesus. It's not really a lifestyle change for Jeff. No, it's not at all. Because no, I don't need no. buffalo sauce. It just, it just narrows his search, <laughs> his, his search now. 
It's a little too spicy for my 12-year-old palate. Oh, my God. <laughs> Did you put black pepper on this? It's so hot. <laughs> uh, he's such a big baby when it comes to that I stuff. could never do that fucking hot ones. I'd take the first bite of that first wing and just... He'd just get up and walk out. away. Yeah, I'm done. Oh, just give me all funny. the milk. A gallon of milk. OD on milk. Jesus. I only had one. So. What? Okay. Oh, okay. All right. If both your arms were gone and you could have two kitchen utensils as arms, ooh, what would they be? Ooh, ooh, ooh. Spatula for sure. Sp- uh, tongs. The flat ooh. ones. The spatula flat tongs. Is that you got omelet with those tongs? Yeah, you can because they're a, okay. they're a spatula. And Ooh, tongs. okay, spatula tongs, and you can grab things. Yes, and the other one would be a knife. I mean, because you, you got right? You need a knife to cut stuff. Plus, if anybody ever comes yeah, then you for you, you, shank them. Shank them. Yeah, I don't think you'd be going to a lot of concerts and <laughs> <laughs> no crowd <laughs> surfing. <laughs> they wouldn't even. Let I don't you think in. they're letting you in with no. a knife hand. So we got to think about that too. I'm just not going to concerts anymore. But well, <laughs> this guy's got a fork and a spoon. Because I can still eat with a spatula, too. Yeah. Because think about it. You're not just, you know, everyday thing. You're wearing sweatpants at all times. <laughs> yeah, because you can't zip your pants. You can't zip your pants. <laughs> Damn. Yeah, we're diving deep. You're, um, you're never going to wear a button-down shirt again. No. Nope. Hmm. And I do love a good spoon. It would, Cereals. Cer- cereal would I'm be just gone. Just thinking about, me. yeah. I definitely would have a fork. I use a spoon a lot. What about a spork? Because then you get the Ooh, advantage of both. Versatile. But it would have to be like a, a metal. Yeah, yeah. Not like. Spork. The, yeah, no, not no, a KFC no. spork. <laughs> <laughs> just <laughs> just snapping your hand off yeah, every no, day. You can't have that. Um, yeah, things, spork for one, and then I mean, yeah, I, those, mean, I feel like you have to have a knife. Those KFC. Can I have scissors? Those KFC sports snapped in their mashed potatoes. Like those things are. Yeah. Not Dude, what's crazy is I've had those sporks where like they'd start to curl because the, the heat. food was too hot. <laughs> you couldn't even use it anymore because it just curled up. What would you pick? What would I Did pick? you say? I would definitely have a fork or a spork. I would have a spork. I feel like that's a, the safest bet. Mm-hmm. A spork and... Mm, I feel mm. like I'd need, like, tongs. A spork and tongs, but I would yeah. need, like, those, um, like, the grill ones, the metal ones. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So that way it was kind of like having a knife. Oh, like the the... No, they're they're still the they're still like the prong well, thingies, right? But, but like the super all... spatula edge where it's got the knife on the one side yes. and the uh-huh. potato yes. poker on the other side. I want that. Yeah. Cause then I can still pick so, things up, I can cut things. So there is there is a pair of tongs that it's that on the one side and the top is just like to grab it. So yeah. the top is like a straight piece that if you okay. flip it over you could use as a regular spatula as well, and the other side's with oh. the knife and the That's something you'd see. What was that? What was that thing we used to wake up to at three a.m.? Oh, the knife guy or Q, like the, the QVC? The was it QVC? Oh, QVC. Home Shopping Network. Oh yeah, you'd pass out at your friend's house and wake up and the TV is still on. It's and they're selling uh, commemorative coins or or uh, necklaces ne- and, and yeah, yeah, that was crazy. God, I fucking JB's finds. Love or, the fucking JB's 90s. treasures. The world before the internet was a wild place. Call me now for your free bumble <laughs> clot reading. Miss <laughs> Cleo. Yes. Shout out, Miss Cleo. Would you rather your pet have a dog's personality and a cat body or a cat's personality and a dog body? Uh the the first one. So dog's personality in a cat, for sure. Yes, yeah. because can you imagine an asshole cat's attitude in a bigger version? No. It'd be oh like a lion. God. Oh, dude. It'd be like having yeah. a lion. You basically have a, a you lion. You'd have a jackal. A cunty, I don't want that. A cunty lion running around your yeah. house. Yeah, no. And I thought, well, when I grabbed this, I was like, oh, be a yeah, good discussion. Like, but now that, <laughs> now that yeah. I've even read it again, I'm like, that's so fucking easy. 
Yeah, because, I mean, dogs are normally... Can you imagine being able to train your cat and go, hey, go lay down, and the cat just, instead of being in your Mm. face, knocking the water bottles over and... Yeah. Fucking with the den. Yep. Ah. Damn cats. Hey, they can't all be home runs, you know what I'm saying? Nope. And you'll find out on next week's episode of After Hours... Um, After Hours Interviews? Yeah. (laughs) Oh, hey. Post... Post press conference. I'm assuming this is ending here soon. soon. Yep. Um, I figure this is probably a good time to like talk about it. What? We don't, uh, I we feel don't like have a, a lot of a lot of people. A lot of people have been saying that when they listen to this, say like it, they talk to the computer or phone, whatever the hell they're watching it on. That's or listening to why it. Why we do this? But they're like, you guys should have like a live one one time, so that. We can, we can actually happen. interact. Yeah, we can make it happen. And so we'll I feel go, like we, we can should... We go live on YouTube. I feel like we should totally plan that. How about we start doing half hour before each podcast? We'll go live. Yeah, we just have to, you know... For the people. Well, or we should do it for after. The same, or for the or same... For the same... Three shows. people. After hours, baby. That's what I'm into. You know what I'm saying? Come the after hours show. was rough. I got nothing in here. Maybe one little dribble. Ew. Come on, baby. Come. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> I already have. <sighs> uh, that's a good way to end it. <laughs> come again. <laughs> <laughs> we just came inside your ears again. You're welcome. For Jeff, for Kayla, I am Sean. Thanks again for listening to our another fun-filled entertaining ish they, they at least feel better about their own life choices so hell yeah you yeah. do thanks again for listening and uh go check out our social medias and you can actually go buy a gentleman's den t-shirt on there so sure do it up yeah. don't be a bitch. the gentleman's done yeah